Hey guys, I'm talking about sin in this video and how useless it is and how people just come at um, Jesus and don't understand the importance of what they have to do in this world because they're not, they're not told what they have to do in this world to finally truly be with Jesus Christ and to follow Jesus and to walk with Jesus and to give your heart and surrender and lay down your life for Jesus. Because so many people out there want to walk around and say, well, I have Jesus in the world. I go to church, but I have this. I go out and I party and I do this. I partake in the world's events, but I still have Jesus. And that's what everybody wants. If you think about it, it makes sense. I want to have Jesus. I want to have God. And I want to have the world. I want to have everything that I do and have all of my luxurious things that I chase and have all of my vices. And even in my addictions, he'll forgive me. He's a loving God. He'll know. He knows. He knows my heart. He knows I'm a good person. That will end you up in hell, that thinking. It's from the devil. It is from Satan. God did not allow Jesus Christ to be beaten, to have his skin ripped off of his body, to be beaten worse than any man ever, and suffer the way he did. So you can just do whatever you want and inherit the kingdom of heaven. It doesn't work like that. But you have so much false doctrine and teaching going on in today's Christian society that it's, it's disgusting. And you have people saying a sinner's prayer and believing, I say this prayer one time and I'm in heaven forever. No matter what happens afterwards, at this time I said, I love you, Jesus. That's beautiful. But are you living it? Did you leave this world to chase him? Because if you didn't, you're not going to make it. You think you're going to kneel before Christ and give him excuses like you give your boss or your spouse or your friends and they buy it? You think he's going to say, oh, you know what, you're right. Yeah, you did all right. You tried. You did his thing. I understand. There's a lot of temptation down there. I understand you're doing what you want to do. I understand you're going off and having your drinks and getting high. I understand you're taking those pills and getting high and going to work. And I understand you're cheating on your wife every now and then because who can really, you know, give themselves to one woman forever? I understand your porn addiction. That's okay. I got it. It's a sexual thing. You're a human being. I understand you want to masturbate and do all of these things. I understand how you want to have sex with every person. I understand how you just want to drink and drug and have sex and do what you want. I understand that you want to have abortions. I understand that I give babies down into this earth and that you decide you want to kill them. I understand that. I understand a society who allows... The, uh, the legal death of their children through abortion? You think that abortion's not a, a, a major thing to be spoke of here in this world? Do you think that it's not a subject that requires any kind of attention? Because you'll have so many so-called Christians who won't even get involved with the abortion topic. Are you crazy? How can you say that you're a Christian when you allow an innocent baby to be murdered? Because that's what happens. They're murdered, chopped up in the safest place they should ever be in their mother's wound. And we are allowed to do it and won't serve one day in jail. It's amazing. You know, it's so twisted. This, this is Satan's world and things have been twisted so much. And people are so scared of standing up for what's right and standing up for Jesus Christ and saying there is one truth. Because there is one truth. It's Jesus Christ as our Savior. That's the truth. So all of your other stuff in your New Age and these other religions are bogus. They are not true. I've seen this man with my own eyes. I've seen hell. I've seen how useless sin is. When you're in hell and you think about all the sin that you did in your life, you can't believe that you, you were so misled into taking this road instead of following Jesus. You can't believe what sin will do to you and what you will, you know what, the same person who you, you know, you follow, you want to drink and drug and do all your stuff and have your sex, you're following Satan and believe me, he'll give you the things you want in this world and when you die, then he will torture you, torture you, have you ripped apart for all of eternity. That's the same person that you want to roll with right here, where Jesus Christ offers eternal life. He offers freedom from everything. He gives you a peace. He changes you. He changes your heart to something it, it doesn't even register with the person you used to be. He takes us and changes us and makes us new. Those drugs, no matter what you're doing, drugs, sex, it doesn't matter. 
I've chased all of that. I've lived it. I've rolled in that vomit. Believe me. I know about that life. That was never gratifying. That was never soothing. Okay? It was fun for a minute. It never quenched my thirst. I still was lost all the time. And when you lay your head down, you always know you're lost. I don't care where you're at. When you're in that lifestyle, you don't know what's happening. And you know what? When you follow Jesus, you don't know what's happening. Because you live for Jesus and what He's saying day to day. And He may say something to me today and I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm doing that. I'm not making plans. I'm seeing what He wants. I'm not living as I want anymore and what I'm believing. I'm listening and seeing what does He want through prayer, through fasting. What is the Spirit telling me? Because Jesus truly speaks. When you are in the presence of Jesus Christ, there is no sin. No sin is present. It's just... All glory, His magnificence, His majesty. Okay, this man did come. He was crucified for you. The name Jesus Christ convicts people to their very bone, to their very marrow. That's when, when people hear Jesus, they can't get away quick enough if they're not living a life for Christ. And the thing is, so many people who say, I am living for Jesus, aren't. You don't know you've been hoodwinked. You keep getting this message that they're putting out there today. Oh, you should be prosperous and you should be this and you should be that. And give us your money and it's all happy. Is anybody telling you, guess what? The end's coming. Do you know this is the extra credit part of this whole gig here? That your soul is alive in the last days? Do you not see the Antichrist setting up to take, take reign? Can you not see everything written on the wall? Can you not see Bible prophecy happening before you? Do you want to continue to be misled sheep? I'm making this video because I am tired of people coming at this half-heartedly you can't say this you can say this I'm not politically correct I don't care what other people think I've seen Jesus I've seen hell I am telling you if you want to live in your sins of this world you want to follow the flesh you want to follow your lusts you want to do as you believe then you will be very sorry when you kneel before this son of God believe me it's not a joke you cannot give him excuses. What you reap is what you sow. I went to hell in a vision when I was taken out of it because I was in a vision. But if I would have died and been there, I wouldn't have been taken out. I still hear the sounds of these people screaming in my head. And I know, it, you think how weird this is to have these sounds you can never get out of your head of people you know who are burning in hell right now because those sounds are still being screamed by these people almost four years later on earth but for them it's been a second maybe I mean it's eternal it's righteous punishment hell was created for the fallen angels not for mankind hell wasn't created so that God can just throw everybody and do this and that but we are turning our backs on him we believe we are civilized and we allow people to kill Children, our own children, we can go and get a, a pill the next day and, okay, here, $30 and this will abort the baby. What are we talking about? You still think you're Christian? You want to go have sex with everybody? Still call yourself a follower of Jesus Christ? You want to do your drugs and take part in your porn? Take part in the world and the parties of the world? If you are loved by this world, then you are not following Jesus Christ. You cannot follow two masters. It's one or the other. You sell out to Jesus or you don't. He says, come hot or cold, but if you're warm, I will spit you out. And it is no joke. Your souls are at risk, and nobody's telling you that. You're going to a church that doesn't want to offend anybody because they want to bring people back in, right? Because it's a business, right? they got to keep the electricity on. They don't want to offend people. You're not going to hear the truth that Satan has his demons running around this world looking to devour people, looking to take people and ruin their lives and just bring them to hell. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you what it, it means to follow Jesus Christ, that you have to die to this world. From the moment you follow Jesus, you have to start dying to this world. You have to stop blindly following what the masses are being led to. It's an antichrist agenda. You cannot conform. If you are too strong, if you're too weak, I mean, to stand up for what you believe, then you'll just get devoured. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Many people believe in Jesus, but that big tidal wave of, of this society just eats them up because they don't have the guts to stand up. Because they don't know the Holy Spirit. But I'll tell you what, there is only one power. The power that Jesus Christ gives you, the Holy Spirit, makes you stand against anything. That gives me the peace that I've never had, didn't know could exist. 
Okay, he, ta he takes us and changes us. The old person is dead. My heart today, it's the same heart. I didn't have a, an operation and have hearts replaced, but I can tell you it's a new heart. I don't have the old heart that I used to have. This body, these hands did a lot of stuff. It's not the same today, though. I am reborn. I have been sanctified and pulled from this world for some reason. It is new. I don't have problems with the sin that I used to have. I, this sin doesn't bother me as it bothers other people because he takes that. That's his grace. Nothing with me. If we follow sin, we're leading ourselves into death. Wake up and understand you are following yourself into sin. You are following this world and he will not stand for it. There is proper just judgment and you will judge yourselves. When you see how you acted compared to what God's law was, when you get there... You'll understand how meaningless everything was. You'll understand how unworthy you are. We're unworthy, period. It's His mercy. He wants to see our hearts. Who's following me? Who's trying to follow me? You a Christian, are you watching these movies with 500 F-words in it? You're listening to this music that's doing nothing? That's lost? That's talking about fornication and every other thing? Drugs? Sex? What are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you doing with your life? Because if you're following this world and you, you can't wait to go see that new movie that came out or you can't wait to throw the TV on and, and just watch eight hours and let the TV program your children with this anti-Christ attitude, with this agenda that's ripping the family down from the inside out, everybody has their whole living room sanctioned in a way where they can stare at this mind control TV that will slowly just raise your children, give them all these crazy thoughts of how to disobey and how to have this antichrist spirit right. The parents don't even care of raising them. The whole thing has been destructive. The family dynamic has fallen apart since abortion has been legalized. This whole thing of you have your own right and wrong is bogus. It's new age. There's one right, there's one truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. He's the way to the Father. He died for your sins, and like it or not, He's your Savior. And like it or not, you'll kneel before Him and have to give an account of what you've done or haven't done. I don't know how He judges at that point. When I asked, He said, that's not the way this works. That's all I have. That's what I have to sit with. But I'm just sick and tired of people who, I'm a Christian, but I want to bling out over here and have my rims and have my whatever, Tahoe, Corvette, I mean, you're just blowing money. I want this two, three, four hundred thousand dollar house, million dollar house. I love God. God did this. God gave me that. Come on. Come on. Wake up, man. You're telling me that this is how he wants you to live? Is this how he lived? Does he want you helping people? Doesn't he say sell everything? Then you'll follow me? But you don't want to hear that, because who wants to hear that? You want to hear, get rich, man. You don't want to hear, drop this and follow me. Get rid of everything. Get rid of the things of this world. Forget about all your materials and your riches, and get rid of it all and follow me. Is that what he's saying? That's what he says. But do we want to do that? No. It's much easier to go find yourself a church that will tell you, you're a great person, you're this, you're that. Here, throw us this money, and we'll see you next week. God bless you. That's what you want. That's what you'll get. There's no shortage. You can look around and find it everywhere. you got churches having the gospel and Tom Petty and incorporating everything, selling the gospel like it's a freak show. It's not to be sold. This place is off the chain. It's crazy. You're in last days. You either better get your spirit strong and be ready for the persecution that comes, or you will not make it. Flat out. There's no other ifs, ands, or buts. You are sold out to Jesus Christ and following Him and ready to give your life for Him. As 350 people a day have to give their lives for Him all around this world because of their beliefs in Him. Are you ready to face death over it? you ready to face losing everything you have? Your home, everything. Jobs. Are you that much sold out to Jesus? Because if you're not, do you want to kneel before him with that kind of attitude? I myself want to just sell out and kneel before him and say, I gave all I could. Be serious, guys. Your souls are at risk. Evaluate your lives and chase Jesus and forget the things of this world. Jesus bless you.